Hello Guardians, in this video I'm gonna show you my favorite high damage void titan build. Let's get into it. So weapons first. The only thing you will need in this build is a 1-2 punch shotgun. If all 12 pellets from a shotgun hit, 200% increased melee damage for 1.22 seconds. 350% increased melee damage against bosses and vehicles. Your second weapon is depends on what you prefer. For duality runs I would recommend a sniper rifle for the long range bell shots. For heavy weapon I usually use a sword with eager edge and I highly recommend it for solo duality runs. If you don't have it, you can use tractor cannon for debuffing the bosses. It is not necessary because you will weaken the enemies with your grenade. The next one is, mods. You will need 4 main mods for the build. Elemental charge. Melee wellmaker. Bountiful wells. And heavy handed. In my helmet, I'm using Dynamo for super energy after using class ability. Harmonic Siphon for generating orb with weapons that have same damage type as my subclass and Elemental Charge for getting charged with light after picking up an Elemental Well. For Gauntlet, I'm using the Worm God Caress Exotic Gauntlet. It grants Burning Fists on melee kill. Burning Fists lasts 5 seconds and grants bonus melee damage. The mods I'm using are Momentum Transfer which reduces your melee cooldown after dealing damage with your grenade and Melee Wellmaker which creates Elemental Well after powered melee kills and the wells are matching your subclass energy type. In my armor I'm using Bountiful Wells, so I can stack Melee Wellmaker mods. In the leg armor, there are Absolution, which reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an Orb of Power, Sword Scavenger for bonus sword reserves, Another one. Melee Wellmaker mod. In the Titan Mark, I'm using Outreach which reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability, and Heavy Handed which regain half of your melee energy when you use a charged melee ability, consuming one stack of charged with light. Subclass For the subclass, Barrier, Jump and Grenade is depends on you, but for melee we are using Shield Bash. The first aspect we are using is the Bastion, so we can get an overshield after using our class ability. The second is Offensive Bulwark which gives you melee range and damage while having an overshield. Melee kills extend the duration of the overshield. The fragments are Echo of Provision which gives you melee energy after dealing damage with grenade, the next one is Echo of Leeching, melee final blows start your health regeneration, and the last one is Echo of Undermining, your grenades weaken targets. How to use in this clip you can see how much damage can you deal with grenade debuff, 5 stack burning fist plus a normal melee, 224,449 damage, that's not bad. Now let's add the overshield buff to it. We are dealing 673,347 damage, and still didn't use the melee ability. Now we are using everything. With adding the 1-2 punch and the melee ability we are dealing 999,999 damage and it is actually 1,170,764 damage which is 2,980% damage buff. That's crazy. Now watch this in action. If this guy wouldn't jump off I could easily one phase this encounter, but that happens sometimes. And as you can see maybe you will miss your melee on the boss. The damage with a bad run. I hope this video was helpful, you should watch this too. See you next time.